Welcome to Rise Up Namobia. My name is Matt Yanata, aka the resistor of bad and the love of good. Hashtag dark and lovely underscore. Walk by faith and not by sight. So in this video, which is part 3 of bearings, we are going to be looking at how to use alternate angles within bearings. Okay? So example number 1. Find the bearing of A from B. So feel free to pause the video and try getting the answer to this example. Now remember, there's a lot of ways of how to get the answer as long as you get the final answer correct. Okay? So feel free to pause the video now. Okay, now I have told you guys that you always focus where it says from. So it says from B. Find the bearing of A from B. So you go to B. Where is B? B is over here. So that's where you put your cross, okay? Because basically you need to draw a new north and south here. But I like putting the whole cross as I explain, okay? So when you put your cross at B and treat the B is the center. What you do is now you go to that north and we move in a clockwise motion. I advise you to watch part one and two if you didn't already. Okay. Now, after you move in that motion, you know already from zero or from the north to the east that is 90 degrees. And then again, from the north to the south, we know that will be 180 because it's a straight line, isn't it? Now, the question is, now what is this angle over here? Now, if you take a closer look, we actually have alternate angles here. What do I mean by alternate angles? Alternate angles are angles that look like, it actually looks like a Z, okay? It's not a Z, but it just looks like a Z. Meaning, whatever angle is in this corner, is the same as the angle in this corner. So if this is 80 degrees, this is also 80 degrees. Okay? Now if you know that this is 80 degrees, and from 0 until here is 180, what you can do is take the 180 plus the 80 degrees. Okay? So what do you get? 180 degrees plus 80 will give you 260 degrees, which is your final answer. Okay? Now, this is not the only way. You can use other ways as well, like uh, the way that we learned in the previous video, which is using the core interior angles inside here. Meaning what you could do is you could uh, take 180, and then you minus this 80, it will give you this angle. And then to get the final answer, which is 260, you say 360 minus the angle that you get here. Okay? So if you want to learn how to find the answer using the core interior, watch part 2, which will be down in the description below. Okay? Let's take a look at the, another example. So this example says, find the bearing of 1, B from A, and then A from B. So feel free to pause the video again and try finding the correct answer. Okay, so the first one says the bearing of B from A. So remember I told you to always focus where it says from. So this one says from A. So where is A? A is here. So we treat that A as our center. Now we go to the north and we start from the north always. We start from the north moving into a clockwise motion. So where is the line to B? It's here. So it will end here. Okay, now we already know that from the north to the east, that is 90 degrees. Okay, and then now the angle or the bearing doesn't go until the south. It goes like, there's like a gap here, it goes until there. So how do we know what angle this is? Now if you know from north to the south here, it's a straight line, isn't it? 
which means it's 180. What you can do is, because here you are given an angle, you can take that 180 and then you subtract the angle that you are given here, which is 25 degrees. And then you get 155 degrees, which is your final answer. So, for the second one it says, the bearing of A from B. So meaning, let's just take this diagram on the other side, because here we have worked on it. Good. So here it's, it's the same diagram, it's just that we haven't worked on this one. So let's reread the example. Find the bearing of, so the second one says, of A from B. So remember it says from B. Now we go to the B. Where is B? B is over here. So what do we do there? We treat the B as the center of our cross. Okay? And then we start at the north, which is over here. And then we move in a clockwise motion. Clockwise. No, I just made a mistake there. Let me just redraw that. Okay, we move in a clockwise motion until where? Until here. Because we are looking for the bearing of A. So it should be until this line that goes to A. Okay. Now from here we know that from 0 or from the north to the east is 90 degree. From the north to the south that will give us a 180. Here it will give us 270. But now we have an extra angle again here. Okay. We don't really know what this bearing is or what angle it is until the line of A, isn't it? So if we knew what angle this was, then we could just say 360 minus this angle, isn't it? Now I want you to take a closer look again. If you take a close look, there is like an alternate angle over here, which is like a Z. Remember I told you an alternate angle is like a Z. So whatever is in this corner is equal to whatever is in this corner. Meaning if this is 25 degrees, this over here is also 25 degrees. Now if we know that this is 25 degrees and a revolution like from the north in front here going until the north behind here is 360. What we can do is we can just say 360 minus 25 degrees and we'll get our final answer. So 360 minus 25 degrees gives us 335 degrees. Okay. So someone will be wondering, why did we use 360? Because 360 is like a revolution. From the north here, if you go a whole round until the north behind here is 360. So now we don't want this angle. So what do we do? We subtract it from the 360 and we get our final answer. Okay? So thank you very much for watching this video. Please do support the channel by liking, subscribing and sharing. Okay? Together, we rise to higher heights. Apart, we all stay behind. Cheers.